Now having stretched, the next step is to put heat on the muscle itself. And the um, heat that you use needs to be local. Now I've found that the best heat is to use a wheat bag. So uh, you can uh, either buy one, um, and, and these are now freely, no, not freely available, they're widely available, or you can make one. You just make a cloth bag, fill it half up with, with wheat, um, put it out flat, and make a couple of divisions so the wheat doesn't all flop around. Then you roll it up, you put it in a microwave on maximum, and you put a glass of water with it. And the glass of water means that you create a moist heat. You then run it, and depending on the power of your microwave, anything from two minutes to five minutes. And when it comes out, you have this deep, amazing heat, which when you first touch it, you think, oh, it's warmish. But you put it on and it just gets warmer and warmer and sinks right in. Uh, beautiful. And the muscle that you've now treated, you've treated your trigger, you've stretched it. When you put this heat on, it adds again another level of treatment. The muscle relaxes further and you leave it on for a good 5-10 minutes. I mean, and this is just, it's gorgeous. <laughs> you, you love it, your muscle loves it. Once you take it off, it, you'll know that it's been on long enough because if you looked at the area in the mirror or if it's in front of you, looked at it, it's obviously slightly red. So there's increased blood flow into the whole area. And then what you do is you do a second stretch. And that again increases, so that's the neuromuscular stretch with breathing in and out. You do that second stretch, but very gently. And then you, you'll find that, in fact, the whole area feels fantastic. So treat the trigger, stretch and heat, and a little gentle stretch afterwards. And you will have optimized your treatment of that trigger point.